To get started and set up Payclip, you will need a computer and your smartphone. Before you are able to take your first payment, you need to download the free Payclip app onto your smartphone. To set up your Payclip, head to the Payclip Merchant Portal. This is where you'll manage all aspects of Payclip for your business, including transactional reporting. You will have received an email with your temporary password. Use this to log in for the first time, then you'll be asked to create a new password. This will prompt an activation text to be sent to your phone. You will need this to access the portal for the first time. Once you're in the portal, everyone in your business using Payclip needs to be set up as a mobile user. Click Manage Mobile Users. Select Add a Mobile User from the main screen. Enter the details of the user. Check the box if you'd like the user to be able to make refunds. The mobile user will receive an email with a temporary PIN, which is needed the first time they log in to the Payclip app. This will prompt another activation code text, which is required to enter the app. They will also be prompted to set a new PIN for the app. You'll need to connect your device via Bluetooth. Switch your Payclip on. You'll see a Bluetooth indicator. Make sure your smartphone's Bluetooth is switched on and find your Payclip listed under Devices and select it by tapping it. If at any stage you need to pair your device to a different smartphone, you'll need to hold down the Bluetooth button until it flashes quickly. A pop-up message will appear with a code. Press Pair. The same code should appear on your Payclip. Click the green Tick button. To take a payment, enter the value of your transaction in the Amount field. Enter a short description, if required. You'll be prompted to check the amount before you continue to the next stage of the transaction. Click Cancel to stop the transaction going to the next stage or Confirm to proceed with the payment. Next, you'll be prompted to either tap, insert or swipe your customer's card. Contactless payments up to the value of $80 don't require a PIN. Anything above this will require the customer to enter their PIN. If you would prefer not to accept contactless payments, you can disable this function within the Payclip app by selecting Security Settings from the menu. If the customer wants to insert or swipe their card, they will be prompted to enter either their PIN or sign your smartphone screen with their finger. The Payclip app tells you when the transaction has been authorized. If your customer would like a receipt for the transaction, enter their email address or mobile phone number and press Send. 